friends welcome to your own youtube channel achievers and data engineering my name is gyanendra this is an another interesting session on power bi tips and tricks in this video we are going to talk about how can we add a visualization in the tooltip right so usually when we hover over a mouse on any visualization in power bi we get to see some details right so whatever visualization is we get to see that details like uh, for in this example we can see the assets type and what is the download so uh, sorry actually the waves by the asset so we will get to see the numbers or any custom any additional details that we have added manually in the tooltip so we will see that but how about if you want to see another chart in the tooltip right so how to do that let's see that in details so let's get started all right so before we go ahead and start doing what we are trying to do here let me show an example which i have already created for you so here we have a beautiful animated visualization right so this visualization actually shows the data based on the year as you can see here it's kind of moving the data and showing it by year and year based on this visualization uh, animation tool that i have selected however so our focus is like for example if I am going and selecting any year, for example, 2018, and if I go on downloads by asset, I get to see this tooltip which says asset type video and how many downloads are there in total along with the percentage, right? However, if I go ahead and click on this line chart, uh, we can see an another bar chart as a tooltip. So right now, if you notice, this is showing another level of details. So in this chart, we are seeing downloads and waves by months, right? However, we don't get to see the details. What are the actually asset types? So uh, if we want to like show the details on the asset type and how many waves or downloads were there, then that's what I'm trying to show here uh, in the tooltip, right? And if you notice, it is getting filtered as per the area where I am, you know, hovering over the mouse. So for example, in November, it's showing different details. If I go on the September, it's showing the different details. Also, if I go ahead and change any filters over there, it will start showing the data as per the filter selected, right? So how can we achieve this? Let's get started. All right. So as you can see here, I have already created this report for you and uh, it, is not showing any kind of uh, visualization in the tooltip. It has just, uh, you know, the usual tooltip that we usually see in the Power BI, right? So now how to see that another chart. So first of all, we'll go ahead and add a page. Now, if I go in the page information, I can allow any page to be used as a tooltip, right? This is super simple. So I can go ahead and uh, select any chart, select waves, downloads, and asset type. Oops, not this one, downloads and assets type. And now I can go ahead and go on this, uh, select this chart, go in the details, general, and in the tooltip. Instead of default, I'll select the report page and I select the page one. So this is the page one. Now I can go ahead and hover over the mouse and it will show me that entire page. Okay, so we are able to see the tooltip, uh, like another chart in the tooltip, but it doesn't make any sense to having an entire page because it's covering all the screen, right? So what we need to do here, let me just go ahead and delete this chart. Power BI has already given us an example uh, of as a tooltip. So what we can do, we'll go into the canvas settings in the type, we'll select this page as a tooltip. So by doing this, Power BI will automatically change the width and height of this page that will be fit for viewers experience as a tooltip. Now we can go ahead and utilize this area and I'll just go ahead and select a chart and start creating the visualization. So again, waves, downloads, and assets type. Now, but one thing that we need to work on is if we want to have that 
tool tip and this chart to be filtered as per these slicers as well. We need to have these slicers created over there. So now what we can do for that, I'll go ahead and create a slicer. And it's really small screen, but we need to manage it somehow. I'll go ahead and choose the date and make it as select the date hierarchy, remove day, month and quarters so that we can have only year. Now I'll copy the same and again choose the date hierarchy. And this time I'll remove day, quarter and year so that we can have month. Now when in the remaining space, let me just copy the same one again. And this time I'll instead of date, I'll make it as assets type. Great. Now we have got these slicers kind of cluttered up in the visualization in the small screen. We don't want to show these slicers to the user in the tooltip, right? It will be kind of very ugly if we will show these slicers over here because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, people like that end user won't be able to change the value in the slicer, right? So what we need to do, we need to enable sync. So we'll go into the view, select sync slicers. Now, when we have selected this slicer, what we want to do is we want to sync it with the page one. So whatever slicer that we have, I want to sync this slicer with page one and I don't want to show this slicer in this page. So I can hide it. I'll do the same thing for rest of the slicers. Enable the sync and hide. Enable the sync and hide. All right, so now we, I've got some space and I'll expand it again. Cool. So now I'll just go ahead and save. I can go into the page again and I will be able to see a proper visualization in the tooltip. Now it will work on any filtration that we will do using these slicers, right? So because that, you know, that sync, these slicers are in sync. So for example, in this particular selection, we don't see any data, right? Because there is no data available. Similarly, we are not able to see any data in this page as well. And if I go ahead and select 2018, and if I select, select all, all months, and we are able to see the data, Similarly, we will be able to see the data over here, right? So, so in this way, we can enable to, you know, we will be able to see the updated tooltip and it will be updated based on any slicer that I'm, we are selecting, right? So I hope you have got good understanding how we can create such kind of a tooltip in a Power BI visualization and give some additional information to the end user, right? So I hope uh, you have liked the content. If so, please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that I upload. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.